Hiya, my name is Simon Mole and I am a poet. Today we're going to play a game called Yes And. But first, have you ever heard a voice inside your head when you were writing? Boring, rubbish, why would anyone be interested in this? Boring. I do writing for my job and it's definitely something that still happens to me. That's because the bit of our brain which helps us edit things, decide what's good, not so good, chop and change them a bit to improve stuff, that bit of your brain is very enthusiastic. And often it tries to get involved too soon, which is when you hear the voice yapping away. So for the rest of this video, we're gonna say goodbye to our editors and instead say absolutely anything that comes into our heads. You can play yes and on your own, but it's probably more fun with a few friends. All you need to get going is to think of a location, a place which might be a good start for a story. A jungle, a beach, a racetrack, a deserted house at the top of a hill. Once you've got that, the first person says, we're on a beach, or wherever you've picked to start your story. The next person says, yes, and, and then they add something that you might do on the beach or something that you could see or hear or smell there. The third person says, yes, and, and then they add something else, either continuing the story or something else that they think might help complete the picture a bit. For example, we're on a beach. Yes, and there's donkeys going back and forth. Yes, and I get on one, but when it starts to run, it jumps up and flies into the air. Yes, and ice creams. Yeah, yeah, and someone chucks me an ice cream when I'm on the donkey, and the music comes on, and I start to dance. Yes, and seagulls. Yeah, yeah, and the seagulls swoop down, and they steal the ice cream and take it off to the secret palace of the seagull kingdom. You get the idea. But what I think was interesting in that example there was the moment when I went, uh, seagulls. For a second, I heard the voice again. That's boring. That's just one word. That's not adding anything to the story. But I ignored that voice. And what happened after that was, I think, probably the most exciting bit of action in the story. The seagulls swoop down, they grab the ice cream, etc, etc. So... Have a bit of a go now with your friends playing yes and. And remember, the next time you're doing creative writing of any kind, say yes to your own ideas. Even the ones that you think are wacky or boring. Because you never know where they might lead. Cheers.